G'day and welcome. This is video tutorial number two. In our first tutorial, uh, we learned how to take our initial scanned in uh, sketch and improve the quality of it so that the line work really stands out a lot more and uh, the marker layer as well. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to apply some color over the top. So in this case, what we want to do is is go ahead and paint in some red highlights in certain areas of this spider. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that now. Um, first thing I want to do is select my red color. So go to the color palette here. I'm going to have a nice uh, saturated red there that I've selected. The brush that I'm using is just a standard Photoshop brush, just the, a hard brush here that I've got. And then we're going to go down to the layer section here and create a new layer. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and, and start applying the color. So when I do that, um, we get something that's a bit disappointing, really. Uh, it's just applying the, the red straight over the top, and we're losing all of that line work that we created by hand. What we want to do is actually retain that line work and blend these two layers together. So there is a way that you can do that, do that in Photoshop. Uh, and we have these different options here for blending the layers down the bottom uh, right hand corner so it's going to apply this blending option right now it's selected normal and you can see the effect of that it just paints straight over the top uh, but we want to blend these two layers together so layer two is our red color that we're painting over the top and layer one is our original sketch that we scanned in um, so if we go ahead and select a different blending option, we can blend these two layers together. I'm going to go for multiply and we'll see now um, that these two layers have actually been blended together. So that means that um, that red color is no longer just being painted straight over the top. It's actually retaining the line work that um, I drew in by hand, uh, which is great. All right. Um, the other thing that's nice about this is that you can see I've applied with a, uh, a marker uh, some different values here. If we take a look at the leg, we can see there's some darker sections here on the inside of the leg and then a little bit lighter on the top. Uh, so if we go ahead and apply our red color there, we'll see that that gets retained now as well. Um, and just one more example of that, we'll take a look at this leg. We'll see um, it's we have the red applied, but it's uh, still lighter in the top and darker on the sides of these legs here. We'll do one more over here. Alright, now if you've been playing as much Sunset Overdrive as I have been recently, you might actually want to go with something that's a little more uh, exciting and, and brighter than this. Uh, so there's other options that uh, you can play around with in terms of blending these two layers together. If we go back here and we go down to the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and select the color option. And we see now we get a, a different effect that you may like. Uh, thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.